Hey everyone, it's me again um, on my new camera. Um, since those of you who have recognized Vinyl Records Never Die, I had made a new channel called, um, well, something else. I hope I can enjoy that very much. This is going to be a, a reply through, uh, to Vinyl Records Never Die to avoid copyright problems and all that stuff. Over the last uh, month, or almost near the last month or so, um, on his old, on this old account, Fast Philly Corvette, he was discussing about about not have to get away from those copyright issues. Let me tell you something. I cannot trust any copyright issues at all because I know I'm going to show you one example that I had so far. First up on one of my YouTube channel known as Brooklyn Mouse Returns. Um, I got two strikes. So here's, this is for the past year. This is... Um, this one got me a strike on the three little pigs, the first side, the first part of side one. I know it's because the copyright claimed by the Walt Disney Company, I guess, who owns this, uh, owns this, the the rights to it. But of course, that one I have the Disneyland record on. I'm not going to post it up. So if this happens on my channel, on my Disney Audio Magic channel, if it's safe to be on the channel to be played on my Wildcat, but it was originally played on this record player. Yeah, I used to do this when I played the Three Little Pigs in direct audio. Because that's, yeah, I am not going to put this in direct audio form. I used to do that. And, of course, there's another strike, which was the track, which was a cartoon. This is the complete soundtrack to an old cartoon called Book Review, which was a, little, a Looney Tunes short from from the CD. That's all, folks, the, the uh, cartoon songs from Merry Melodies and Looney Tunes CD, which was laid out of print. And, of course, it got me another strike, which is a copyright claim by Warner Brothers Entertainment. I'm not sure. It was not WMG, which I think WMG is the worst company. This is outside of WMG, which was Warner Brothers Entertainment, who got me a strike on me. And I can't stand anybody who has been making this channel possible. So, if I get one more strike, or once again, if there's a rumor, if I get one more strike on this, on this copyright thing... I'm going to be moving on to a new channel, which I will be called GE Wildcat Rocks. I named it right after my record player, my favorite portable stereo record player, which I got two years ago. And here it is once again. This is the, uh, the portable stereo record player we all know as the GE Wildcat. So, I don't want to, I, I'm going to do much more of the same, though, because I have some of my videos, I have it on my, backed up on my disc which I will be reposting it very soon. And, of course, I will do a lot more of the same, especially my demo stuff, because I had to demonstrate my stereo stuff and all that kind of equipment. So, anyways, and be sure to check, subscribe to me, sub me, or whatever, if you're on, if you're on the Internet or something, or if you're on, uh, on your old account, you know, Rare 12-inch singles, or AKA Fist Philly Corvette, um, vinyl Records Never Die. He has a new account, which I think uh, anybody knows about this. I'm going to avoid the, the uh, like the plague. Of course, uh, anybody who wants, do you want to sub his own account? Yeah, I know, because this is, this is because the WMG is the, the, the worst company I ever watched. Yeah, it's called um, here's a here's his account. Yep. Is, is this is his YouTube account, the the Analog Dog eighty six. That's his new channel, the the Analog Dog eighty six. Right now, I'm on this new account known as G E Wildcat Rocks. So, I will be posting some more of the same because I'm gonna be doing this because I have to leave it open because if YouTube gets another strike on it, if I get suspended, I will still be safe on this channel. So, once again. Check out my new account, GE Wildcat Rocks. It's right over there in the link description. So, hope you enjoy it, and um, I'll talk to you later. See you on my new channel.